Okay, what's up? Paul Morrissey here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Here with this vlog. Walking around town and having a bit of breakfast on this beautiful, sexy, early winter morning. I mean, it's great. The, the rainy season is clearing away. The mornings are getting fresher and starting to even smell a bit more tropical and sexy down on these streets. You know, there's that energy, that sunny energy is back, as you can see. I put coconut oil, I'm not sweating. I put on coconut oil in the mornings. You go out for a little drive, have your coffee, and you just get this great surge of energy. So, uh, yeah, down on one of these little mini soys, trying not to get knocked over. Starting off here at the Irish bar, where I like to pick up a, a bit of bread. Yeah, they have a nice bakery called Krusty Loaf Bakery, which is <coughs> kind of a funny name for another reason. If anyone's seen me, myself, and I mean, price check on veggie clean. Um, yeah. UN Irish pub, I've been in here many times actually and even done a couple of vlogs and in fact I feel like I need to do a Guinness vlog, a Guinness taste vlog, I haven't had a Guinness in a minute and I uh, could really murder a Guinness right now so yeah, I'm going to pick up uh, some bread here at um, UN Irish bar, bank, lovely bank uh, working here and then go to May's Peppermint coffee shop alright, so show you here, get on this new uh, Bakery here. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up this me, yeah? On the car bank. Alright, so picked up a little uh, sesame seed bun and uh, gonna dander down here to May's Peppermint Coffee Shop now. Don't be perturbed. There's a bit of construction work going on at our restaurant, so they're putting down a new floor. Uh, and check out this graffiti in the sunny mornings, man. Check that out. Beautiful. Got some Buddha elephant graffiti going on. I love these little streets, man. They're, this is these are the, this is the first. How will I say? This place is synonymous with. Chiang Mai for me because it's the first streets I used to hang out on when I first ever came here many years ago and it's as Alex says my Spanish mate Alex it's kind of like the heart the heartbeat of the old city there's a lot of gentrification around Chiang Mai now like places like Niman where it's all a bit yuppie and upscale but this is still very authentic and old school down here you know tattoo shops um, cool vegan restaurants and stuff like that and Real authentic, old school Thai people. Actually, yeah, I got so check out. There's an artist from Barcelona who I know here. Come and check out his art if you're uh, down this way. Let me show you. Yeah, I got so. He's got a street art shop. Hostels and stuff around here. Oh, if you check over there, we've got like the smallest coffee shop in Chiang Mai. Graf. It's actually tiny. I mean, so small. It fits about five people. But that's what they're going for. They're going for that whole Instagram y uh, chic thing, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just soaking up these morning rays with a bit of coconut oil. I'm gonna say as uh, oh, yeah. say as dark skin as possible. <laughs> Jokes. So yeah, just come up to uh, May's Peppermint Vegan Restaurant here, where you've already seen I did the uh, the muesli breakfast. Actually grabbing a pancake this morning, and uh, yeah, maybe been eating a bit too many pancakes. As I was joking on my. Uh, on my MGK video, which I'll talk a bit when I sit, talk a bit about as I sit down now. Um, yeah, but I'm just loving that food now. But I'm up in the cardio, starting to burn away uh, some of that uh, mid rib section. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, walk on in. Wow. That a cab? All right. Social Film around. <laughs> yeah, making a video for, for my YouTube, yeah. 
Wow, looking like I'm sweating. That's because that was a hot walk. Don't no worry. I ain't. Maybe. You sit here or? Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. All right. Cup on cup. Okay. <laughs> Damn. All right, so let me just get it clear. I'm not sweating. That is uh, coconut oil on my face. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let me put maybe uh, something else. Yeah. Couple cup. All right. See, ya. I'm such an amateur. I don't even need to fight around. But after um, hook me up with a bit of leverage here. All right. So. Damn it, so me a nap plow, mate. Yeah. I need water after that walk. Hot there, it got hot. So, let's see what else I can do to get a bit more height on this little tripod. Last day, no, that was there. <laughs> Could I get something else? One, some, one more of these? Yeah. <laughs> and I was going to show okay. you if I Yeah, perfect. So, what we got working here? Avocado and mango pancake. Damn! Check this out. I'm gonna drizzle some honey on top of this. And also got sesame seed king down the Irish bar. Get to talking a bit, yeah. So, I'm gonna talk a bit about that um, MGK lip sync video I did. So, as I've been saying on Instagram, yo, to look super lean and cut, shirtless at the drop of a hat is a very hard thing to do. So. I realize now, like, I've got to clean up the diet and get a bit sharp around the stomach. Actually, I'm looking back at it, like, I'm about 70 80% happy with how that video looks, and I feel like that could be a really good feature to do because some fucking idiot on there saying I looked awkward. Shut the fuck up, like, I relish being on camera. There's nothing that I'm never more in my element than being on camera, so, and Whatever anyone wants to say, actually, I'm good at like rap movements and gestures. Like I have a, I've always been told that since I was a kid, like my body movements and style. So that's the whole point of trying to show that off. We're doing a lip sync video now. It's just a trial. But I feel like it'll hit a thousand views in a week. I rarely get even, rarely even get a thousand views. So gotta start trying to do stuff. At this stage now, the way my Instagram is, I can't be just doing a barbershop video that gets a few hundred videos. With this sunny weather coming back now as well, I do need to start filming more stuff around the street. Well edited, crisp vlogs, interacting with people. Um, yeah, because I feel like now it's it's really time for the, to start making making moves on YouTube, you know? So doing trending music videos, like one of one, oh man, that was water on this. One of my main men, Kua, regular Instagram uh, fan and follower, he was asking me, why did you do that? It's because you got to try new stuff and uh, that song, Rap Devil, it's trending, it's currently number one on iTunes. So, strike when the iron's hot. And uh, try to do a training video. Also, need to start doing reaction videos. 
you know, this one Irish guy who follows me, doesn't actually follow me, but watches all my stories, uh, Drew Fortune, he reacts to rap tracks, I'm like, I should just be doing that, that's what I do on Instagram every day anyway. Um, so yeah, all you do is you just show a clip of the video, I see some of these American guys doing like outbursts and versatile, and they're so crap, like, they're only getting views purely just because they just get the trending video up, you know? I'll do it a whole lot better than that, you believe me. Believe you me, believe you me, believe me you. All right, did I get money on that already? Yeah, I did. So, um, right, back in my element now after a bit of a sweaty walk. So this mango banana pancake, I actually get an extra egg. So one egg is a bit light. Cost 80 baht. Plus 15 baht, 20 baht thing at the Irish bar. Full breakfast comes to 100 baht. No. That's about 2 euro 50. And a lot of people. That's nothing, yeah, but actually living in Chiang Mai, like, a lot of people balk at me even paying for money. Like, I'm not earning a whole lot of money through my English teaching, a bit of writing. But I cannot be asked to cook out here. i got to come out and just eat breakfast. Like, I could be, say, buying oatmeal, yeah, buy a packet of oatmeal, uh, porridge, not American, oatmeal. 40 baht and eat that for three, like get four days out of that. Yeah. Would save money in that case, but there's no way I'm gonna cook a pancake this good. And yeah, I've been seeing Rob Lipset kills the pancakes. It's good enough for Rob Lipset, it's good enough for me. Now, but for real, from now on, I actually am going to start. Uh, I say from now on, I'm going to get back into a lot more cardio, a lot more cardio. Cardio-wise, I've really just been playing my football two games a week. Gotta get back on that treadmill on a regular basis. And the great thing is for me is cardio. I love it. I love cardio. I actually had to. It was hard for me to stop doing cardio. I'll get. A lot of people think it's an absolute chore. I love being, I love sprinting on the treadmill. Give me that all day, baby. The only reason I really decreased it was trying to add muscle and keep my muscle up. Or actually, by doing high intensity cardio, you keep all your muscle. I'm simply going fat, you know? So, um, yeah. All right. Oh, we got some cinnamon here as well. I feel so middle class, you know, you know, like, just like spices and the herbs and all. Even just doing a food vlog, this is not really me, like I'm not really a posh foodie type. But it's good fun to do as well. Alright, carrying on with the... Oh man. The cinnamon gave a little kick. A little kick there, yeah? This morning because they've got um, a bit of construction going for their uh, the new floor. I had to walk over a bit of a plank. So it's all G. We'll be back to normal tomorrow. I think. We've also got lovely music always playing. So, country Indian type stuff. Basically, slaughter this pancake. 
just a fruit left. I mean, that's a big breakfast, yeah? Double egg, double egg pancake. With bread. That'll time me through to the late afternoon. <coughs> Probably at Mama's J Station, with Thai Mama. Serves me up vegetarian food in the afternoons, and then see what's popping later for a Saturday night. It's a weekend. We have had pizza with some of the boys, yeah? <laughs> Crumbs, mango and avocado crumbs. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll finish all this. Don't you worry. What's that? Uh, yeah, I feel like that's more or less enough for this pancake vlog. Stuffed to the gills right now, actually. Because I did eat a burrito last night as well before the gym. I might have a bit of a fatty eating disorder right now, I'm eating a lot. I've got to wean myself off this kind of stuff, yeah. I feel like I sort of deserve it. I went through a few years of being way too strict on my diet. I feel like that led to a bit of a drop in testosterone by being too lean. And it feels good eating good, thick, healthy food. You feel good, you feel rich, you feel on point. So now it's about doing enough cardio to balance that out, you know, and uh, stay as lean and mean as possible. I'll tell you one thing, yeah? Oh yeah, I wanted to have my uh, glasses off here as well for some trolling content. I'd squint the eyes in the MGK video. There's nothing wrong with these bright tiger eyes, man. I was squinting because it's bright out there, and I was also putting on like putting on a bit too much of an aggressive, intense look for um, doing that MGK acting. You know, this is kind of what you do, like when you're when you're rapping like that, you're kind of like squinting a bit too much. I did look at, but yeah, he said I was doing, I look like I do drugs. I definitely not do drugs, not in a long time. Um, I'll tell you what, in terms of like fat, like if you want to talk a bit about muscle and fat, like what you know, it's a mad thing is that my face actually doesn't accumulate a fucking ounce of fat anymore, and that's actually I never really did that much. Only when I when I used to. Eat. I wasn't in that much shape, good shape a few years back. I used to have a thicker, chubbier face, carrying body fat everywhere. The really only only the places that body fat seems to accumulate on me now is lower back and stomach, a bit of chest as well. Chest can get a bit thick. I'm, I've got to keep my chest lean to get the, keep the pecs on fleek. Um, nothing on my legs, nothing on my arms and face. Like actually, I'm, I'm straight up. I don't care what you say about like. How this sounds bragging or whatever, but when I look at the angles on my face on my latest Instagram video, I was like, it is impressive. The, the, the leanness of my jaw. I really do like that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna put that straight out there. It's like, you know, there's not even a hint of any sort of double chin would ever appear. So I'm very proud of that. You know, liking the new Wild Hawk uh, haircut which I got done yesterday at Skill Barber. No real point in doing those barbershop videos anymore in, in Thailand anyway until I find maybe in Bangkok. Jesus Christ, when I go to Bangkok, um, eventually I'll make it to Bangkok. I'm just kind of stuck here, just keep getting stuck here. Um, but yeah, I feel like my skill barber vlog, the last one that Bob did, is like the definitive barbershop video. It'll be hard to ever do better than that on a Thailand video. You know, when I go back to Dublin, I'll start doing a few more maybe, but I feel like that's kind of like, all right, that's the perfect, well-edited Mohawk video. So, yeah, I kind of got a bit jaded just doing them, and they weren't getting as many views as I thought they, they I thought they would exponentially increase. So, we're going to start doing more of those rap videos, myself and Bob. He's down in Pattaya at the moment, lucky bastard. Pattaya, let's go to Pattaya. Um... I might actually even fly down to him, I'm tempted to go down, I've never been to Pattaya and we could do some crazy ass beach videos surrounded by beach babes and stuff like that. 
If not, I'm gonna do a couple of more walking, rap walking videos. I'm gonna do like a full one take, just one take walking on the street, wearing a hood, like doing a bit more. Uh, uh, there's this one classic rap track that I saw done on Instagram, which I'm gonna do the full video of in one take. Yeah. So um, I feel like set my piece here on this vlog. Yeah. Um, combination of smashing a mango pancake, talking a bit about my YouTube, um, and look, look at May working out there. Some woman, she's working on the. Working on her uh, on her new floorboards. Fair play to her. She's a great woman. Um, and yeah, if you do watch this, if you watch this far, which very people I'm sure will have, please hit that MGK video. Give it a like, and I'm gonna restore the comments now that all the trolling cunts have shut the fuck up. And leave a nice comment, yeah. Be good to your boy. And each of those videos is gonna get aesthetically better and better and better. Talking about the shirtless ones, of course. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna up, up the vlogging uh, activity in general now. I've got my vlogging energy back. I feel I might as well be doing a few more of these. Um, and these will be beautiful mornings, yeah? Cheers.